Yep. This is home. So here we go. We're just getting ready to leave. It's July 4th, about seven o'clock, oh, 7.30. <laughs> and we're just firing the bus up. So here we go. So yesterday we spent all day loading up the bus in the trailer. What? Yep. <laughs> A ton of uh, fencing. Some pipes down below. Bus is going down there, it's gonna stay down there. Got the trailer loaded down with some other building materials. Plywood and other things that I just don't wanna get rid of. I scavenged for free. That stuff's all really expensive now. And then we got the truck full. <laughs> Wire and buckets. Oh, truck packed full, there's more. Anyways, wish us luck. We got a six or seven hour drive ahead of us. Never driven the bus that far. I'm pulling this trailer. It's, we chat, test drove it last night. It's heavy, but I think it's gonna be fine. We'll see you guys here in a bit. Getting passed by a semi truck. All right, just doing a little trailer check. Check the straps. Everything feels tight, looks good. We're almost to the California border. Yeah, so far everything has been going real smooth. Last stop before California. Yep, we just saw the sign for cheapest gas in the state of Oregon. So, gonna fill up. Hope it continues to go super smooth, so wish us luck. All right. Coming up on the California Inspection Station. Crossing the border. Nope. You too. Happy 4th. Happy 4th. Here we go, out of the inspection station. How's she driving? She's driving really good. I just, I need a stretch for a minute. I think we're about halfway and um, I just wanted to move my legs. Yeah, me too. You ready for the last half? Yep, let's do it. About three more hours. Maybe a little bit. All right, love you. Love you. Looks like we're gonna stop and do a little check. How are you doing? Good. Everything feels good back there? Yeah, I think okay. everything feels good. All right, uh, I'm just gonna take it slow, winding it down these roads. They're kind of sketch. Yeah, they are. Okay, let's just mosey. Okay, yeah, let's take our time. We're almost there. It says, uh, I just looked, cause I didn't know what exit to get off of Wairika. Yeah. Um, so I just looked, it says that we have about 100, about 100 more miles. 100 mi more miles of just winding next to the river. Yep. Perfect. All right. 
Come with us down to paradise. Woo! Here we are, folks. Getting down in Bigfoot country now. Just walking down to wet our whistles. Checking out this beautiful scenery. Well, mainly my toes, not my whistles. Well, maybe not a whistle. Well, I don't know. No, it's not very clean water right here. Okay, we're not gonna drink out of it, but anything that needs to be wet down, I'm considering a whistle. Could be my entire body. Anyways, here comes the river. A wee bit cold. Feels good. It's definitely swimmable. Loving it. Loving it. All right, we did end up wet wetting our whistles. And everything else. <laughs> Couldn't show you that part though, because we skinny dipped. <laughs> There's a vulture. Yeah. So we're almost there. Yeah, about another five miles. Yeah, another five miles to the spot. Right over here to the left, that's the Salmon River. And then this one flowing through is the Klamath. Some uh, steep hills around here, as you can see. Very steep. Definitely in Bigfoot country now, people. It's gonna be like an eight hour drive this time. <laughs> no. Uh, we left about eight and it's... It's almost four. Yes, it's almost four. Yeah. Uh, eight hours. It's okay well, though. Well, we drove slow and took our time with the trailers. We didn't really go past 35 on this road. Yeah, it was a hundred miles of like 40 miles an hour. So, it took longer than expected. So here we are, finally got into our camp spot. Everything made it. The house is up that direction, up that road. We drove everything in through there. That green roof. So, yeah. This is our project.
I got to go do more work, get unloaded. Um, so we have somewhere to sleep. Hope you enjoyed that ride. Went as smooth as I could have hoped for. So we're walking down one of the trails on the property to the lowest garden. Because we're going to take an evening walk to the river. It's way too hot <laughs> to sleep right now and the mosquitoes are crazy. Some bear poop. That's a nice oak tree. One of the lower gardens. Eventually I'd like to have a trail that cuts down to the... Um, the road this the way? The road right there. Careful for stick. Okay. So this way takes you up to the main road. And all the way down here takes you to the river. All right, so here's the plan. Actually, we don't have a plan. Huh. We are winging it. We're thinking about how many U-Haul trips it's gonna take to get down your dad's truck, your dad's trailer, all of our furniture, and our tools and the boat and the Subaru. So how many trips do we need to do it? It's like at least, an algebra problem. At least two. Uh, at least two. At least two. Oh, so we're grown in a year. Yeah, it doesn't take long. And drive all the way down this road and we have this big area here to park in. Walking trail from here to the meadow. That big, super tall conifer straight ahead is a redwood. It's actually two right next to each other there. And this is a giant field of blackberries and wild peas. Hoping we can graze goats down here one day. It's an old Chevy. I think it's a Chevy. So that's what my dad says. Pretty awe-inspiring. Just a sea of peas over there. I'll shower. And we'll hook up to it. Runs water probably right from the creek or the spring right above. Tire swing. This is an old walnut tree. Milkweed. Yeah, milkweed. It's like a monarch butterfly. Caterpillars yeah. like to eat. Monarchs hang out on. Jessica's calling out to the bears because we don't have any dogs with us. Walking through the thicket. Ow! Blackberries. Attack. Thanks, babe. She got the spider web for me. Right in the face. P Palace. Singing to the bears. See, I let her do all the singing. The woman's voice could attract big foot. Pretty squatchy around here. Meadow next to the river. Oh yeah. 
Rivers out there. Slippery hill here. Got <laughs> <laughs> these my drones. Those are the giant roots. Kaboom. All right, this is our river spot. Wow, look at how high, you can see how high the river was. It hasn't been touched, I mean, no one's been down here. So you can still see how well, high it got. Those are bear tracks. Yeah, yeah they are. Just giant bear right tracks. Right across through here. Look how big that track look is. Look at how high this, this had to have been water at some <laughs> point. I wonder if it's when they let the dam out. Could be. Could. B. So washed right through here, so you can see it. There's our little river spot. Yeah, look at how deep how different this is. Whoa. Yeah. A lot has changed. Even just since last all summer. All this all these bushes are now covered in sand. Yeah. It's crazy. I know, right? All right. Time for us to go take a dip. Evening dip. Good morning. We're just about ready to unload the wood. There's Travis. I'm trying to debate where we want to put it so it's not mixed in with his crap. Slept in the bus good. We started getting eaten by mosquitoes. So I uh, had this screen that we brought with us. And then we velcroed it into the inside of all the windows. And then this one so we could have some cross breeze. And we saw the brightest, slowest shooting star I've ever seen go right there last night, all the way across. Yeah, pretty good first night. Found one of our friendly neighborhood scorpions over here. Scorpion buddy. Look how blue he is. See you later, buddy. Back into the plastic. So you definitely gotta be careful <laughs> messing around, picking stuff up around here. Yeah. 
check out these grapes. Pretty amazing. These things have been here for 30 years. <laughs> Yep, this is home. <laughs> We're here with Dave, call him Bigfoot Dave, and uh, he built this house behind us, oh. and uh, it's taken care of this property for a long time, and we may have manifested each other, and uh, yeah. We're happy to be here. Yeah, happy to be here, and uh, thank uh, you, Dave. Yeah, I'm happy you're here, it. thank you. Yeah, so. And then what about the trees for this place? Yeah, how'd you get the trees for I this place? I cut 11 trees for this. One of them was this big. It's a pretty good tree. The rest were small. Yeah. That's how many, that's ecological. All, 11 all trees. Yeah. Nice. And then the siding, where did you get the siding at? I bought it at Reed and Wright's in Arcata. I had sent my wife in. I already talked to them about how many board feet I needed. And I sent my wife in and they gave her a deal for two grand for all that old growth you know yeah. siding send in the cutie yeah that's a yeah. that's a redwood right <laughs> it's redwood yeah old growth and from the 60s it was re the, recycled it's well it might as well be because it sat in the warehouse since the 60s cool so it wasn't like new cut yeah yeah so that's yeah, pretty awesome and stuff. then how did you get yeah. the plants i drew the plants you my friend did a my friend is, is an architect. He just passed. His name is William. He uh, he's an artist, you know. And I said he was out here with his kids, and I asked him if he would draw me a sketch because I I wanted a, it to fit into the environment. And basically, that's what he drew. When you look down there, same thing, same angles, and yeah. And I just drew it into my square footage I wanted and put them together. And then I got it engineered so that it's uh, earthquake, yeah. seismic seven, you know. Can you treat yeah. him like a couple ounces? I gave him an ounce of weed, <laughs> 200 bucks, and he did the, he did the sketch. Nice. It's <laughs> probably the easiest for him. Because oh. he's, it just flows with him. It's like music. I mean, he just, he yeah. knows what should go somewhere. Yeah. yeah. That's what's great about architects. Thank you so much for sharing that story with us yeah. and everybody else. Yep. Yeah. I appreciate that, Dave. Sure. You take care. I'm glad that, I'm glad this is that you guys are getting this place. I'm glad. Thank you. Thanks, Dave. It means a lot to, to hear that, so thank yeah, you. I, know, I really mean it. Because I asked for the right people to come, so I'm wholeheartedly behind you. Thank you. Thank you, Dave. That means a lot. That, I appreciate that. That means more than you even realize. Yeah. All right. Take care of yourself. We'll see you next time. We'll see you soon. In about a week. All right, thank you. Bye. Yep. Bye. I don't know if you can see it, but we got 
Mount Thielsen in the background, somewhere, yeah, somewhere right about there. We're just about back to our house. It's been a great trip, and yeah, now we're on to planning our next move. It was great to see Dave, and more excited than ever. Like this video if you like this video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And thanks for tuning in. Thank you.